Good afternoon, Dr. Carson. Thanks for joining us here today. My pleasure. Integrative medicine has been defined as incorporating current standard of care protocols with other scientifically validated approaches, such as exercise, stress reduction, and dietary supplementation to achieve the best patient outcomes. Now, it's easy for an expert like you, but how can an ordinary person determine if an approach is scientifically validated? Well, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's somewhat difficult sometimes for, for lay people to know what is valid and what isn't. Uh, as far as science is concerned, you know, it's a moving target. Uh, there was a time when all the scientists were absolutely convinced that the world was flat or that the earth was the center of the universe. So, you know, obviously we've abandoned those thoughts, but I'm sure there are probably some thoughts today that uh, are going to be abandoned in the future. Uh, so, you know, I tend to think that the, the best approach is to think about what's logical uh, and what makes sense. And you know, for instance, if you put the wrong type of fuel in an automobile, it's going to conk out on you or it's going to be a real bumpy ride. Uh, well, you know, it doesn't take a, a, a tremendous stretch of the imagination to think about the body as an engine which also needs the proper fuel in order to, uh, to run uh, most efficiently. And I think perhaps the original diet with the wonderful fresh fruits and vegetables, nuts, grains, uh, probably had everything in it that we need. But, you know, we live in a very sophisticated world now. And, and that's why it becomes very important for, um, you know, appropriate types of supplementation to occur when you live in a sophisticated society such as the one that we live in. And, uh, and understanding how to, how to get that nutrition and bring it in um, and continue with your busy day-to-day -day lives, continue working with traditional medicine, uh, but just making sure that your body is receiving everything it was intended to receive, I think makes a lot of sense. Integrative medicine is now taught in approximately half the medical schools in North America, including Johns Hopkins. Do you see integrative health as becoming common practice in our current healthcare system? Yeah, I think uh, integrative uh, uh, healthcare is going to become more and more of a factor. Uh, as you mentioned, uh, you know, a lot of medical schools are now teaching or emphasizing what we should already know, quite frankly and that is, you know, well-balanced meals, uh, plenty of uh, appropriate types of fluid, uh, exercise and diet, makes all the difference in the world. In fact, you know, I'm fond of telling people, if you drink six to eight glasses of water a day and uh, eat three well-balanced meals, uh, don't eat junk food, uh, or other deleterious substances in your body, get regular exercise and sleep. There are a lot of natural benefits and consequences uh, for using appropriate types of fuel in your body. And I think uh, all of us in medicine are starting to recognize that more and more and are starting to focus on the whole concept of wellness uh, as opposed to sickness. Now, by no stretch of the imagination have we gotten there yet. But, you know, you can go back 30, 40 years, the advent of HMOs, health maintenance organizations. The whole ideal was, you know, to try to maintain health. You know, we've obviously gotten far away from that and now it's just how to maintain finances. But uh, it was a tremendous ideal. And now I see us moving back in that direction again. And it's exciting to be a part of that. In your book, Take the Risk, you talked about choosing an integrative approach when confronted with your own health challenges. Can you tell us how you came to that decision? When I was diagnosed, uh, I was inundated, as people found out about it, with all kinds of books, articles, grasses and potions. I mean, the house was just full of stuff. And as I started reading and researching, I noticed that there was a common theme from a lot of these things and that it had to do with nutrition. And I started saying, you know, I bet that's the answer. 
so I really started concentrating on all the different nutritional supplements and you know I, I concluded that I would want to avail myself of the most natural diet available. You also said in your book that you believe that glyconutrients offered you the best integrative nutritional support. Can you tell us how you came to that decision? As I looked at all the various different types of nutritional replacements, you know, I was looking for the thing that seemed the most natural. And of course, you know, you, you have hundreds, if not thousands of different things to choose from. Uh, so I kept narrowing it, narrowing it down and looking for something that was as close to nature as I could possibly get. And, and that's really how I settled on, on glyconutrients, looking at the whole process, the concept behind it, you know, the manufacturing process, all of that. And I said, this one seems to fit for me. So it truly was an integrative approach. It was definitely an integrative approach for me. Dr. Carson, in addition to being one of the top physicians in the world, you are also noted for your contributions through the Carson Scholarship Fund. This must be extremely gratifying work. Do you think that being charitable can also have a positive effect on people's health? Oh, I think uh, being in the right frame of mind has an enormously positive effect. You know, we're, we're sitting here quite calmly right now, but if all of a sudden a lion emerged from behind that screen, um, you know, there would be multiple changes in our physiological status. <laughs> so, uh, you know, the calmness that uh, exists now would disappear rather rapidly. And uh, you, can, you can just imagine, you know, when that calmness is disappearing on a chronic basis, uh, that can have a very deleterious effect, you know, on the person's psyche. So, uh, in the case of, of what we do with, uh, with kids and, you know, putting them on a pedestal for academic achievement and for humanitarian qualities the same way everybody else puts them on a pedestal for athletic prowess, uh, has an enormous effect on them as well as upon us. And we, when we see those kids marching down the aisle to get their award and they're just so proud and their families are so proud, and uh, just knowing that, that you're a part of that makes all the difference in the world. And, you know, in the, in the same way, Manatech uh, has a program where they give away uh, product for product that is bought. To be able to see the beneficial effect, particularly in some parts of the world where people have absolutely no access uh, to, you know, the right kind of nutrition, uh, I'm sure uh, has an extremely positive effect on all of those involved. Dr. Carson, thank you so much for being here today and sharing your knowledge and insight with us. I'm sure that your perspective will be encouraging to a lot of people. So thank you again. Well, thank you. Thank you for all that you do around the world. We appreciate it.